Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So I get asked all the time where I get my images from, what magazines do I use, yada yada. And I try to answer those as best I can. My best answer is I like any free magazine. So I will find something in literally anything. But today I have this magazine that I haven't used yet. It's Good Housekeeping, um, January, February of 2021. So I'm gonna harvest this, harvest this, and then off camera cut up everything that I harvest and then show you in the end what it looks like when it's all cut up so that when you're looking through a magazine, hopefully um, you'll look at it a little different and find things like I find things. So let's go through this. All right, let's get started. So I almost always cut out, I don't usually cut out my covers because this is much thicker and I don't like how thick that is. But if you want to cut out of the cover, go ahead. Um, I've cut out this Love Your Heart a million times, but I should probably cut it out again because I could be getting low. Who knows? And I don't usually look on the back if I found something on the front. I can, when I'm cutting things up, I'll look at it then. Now, when I'm looking through magazines, I'm always looking at words and things like that. So, um, hmm, do I want anything on that page? This I could use as a background if I wanted to, but I don't really. Um... And I go through my magazines several times. So this will just be my first one. This is where I grab everything that I know right out of the gate that I want right away. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go through here. Let's see, I've been seeing page turners, read along with us, the book of moods. Um, I kind of like the mood, word mood. I'm gonna take that out and then, oh, these are Valentine's. So I will take these out for my Valentine glue book. They're actually little postcards that you can send <laughs> to people. That's cute. You hold the key to my heart. That's cute. Okay, I'll cut those up. And then obviously these are Valentine related. So oops, take that out as well. She's good to cut out if you want to, you know, a person. Now, when I'm finding people to put like my animal heads on and stuff, if I'm, if it's a female or even a male with long hair, if the hair goes over the shoulder, I don't use it because once you cut off the head and put your animal head, you'll still see the hair and that looks weird. So that's just a personal choice. And like I said, you may see things that I didn't grab right out of the bat. Maybe it's because you like it and I don't or... Um, because I'm, this is just my first time through. So I grab everything I love right out of the gate. I usually cut out these eyes because I like eyeballs. Um, but do I want to today is the key. Yeah. Why, why not? Let's cut out some eyeballs. Now this is great for backgrounds. Um, using this kind of piece right here. I really like that. Okay, nothing on the back. Moving on. She's cute. I don't see anything that's really sticking out right now. You could cut out this water or this glass of water if you had like a blue page that you were, you know what, let's just cut that out. Maybe I will do a blue. Oh, whoa. Got a little, got a little handsy with it. Okay. Now you can also cut out this and use this as a background. I don't really like how like not bright it is back there. So I don't usually use that. But if I didn't have a choice, like I needed a background, I would totally use that. I like the go for gold, but eh, I don't know. Like I said, this is just my first way through. So I'm trying to find things that really jump out at me. These right here would be cute earrings on like a person that has like a bigger face, like a bigger face. You could use these as earrings for somebody. Hmm. Do I want those? Let's move on. Okay. 
So again, this could be used, like I would cut her out and leave this, and this could be like a background in a page. I like that, paint your own art. I'm gonna take that. These pages are really thin, so you gotta be careful not to make them all wrinkly when you pull them apart. Love the flowers. Um, you could use this as a background as well. So I think I'll take that. Okay, moving on, making sure I'm not missing anything. You could use the red as a background as well. Your true love sparkles forever. That would be cute for my Valentine journal. Okay, oh, Valentine's Day. Get that for my Valentine journal. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Oh, yep, we got more romance. Do I want those? Yes, I might as well. It's on the other side, okay. And then I have them down here too. I don't know if, well, I might as well. Okay, and then you can use this as a piece to collage with right here. I'll take that out so I can show you guys. All right, moving on. I usually would cut these out. All right, so like with this, I would cut out probably the flower, the pen and the paper, and the lemon. So let's do that. And then over here, you have some cute little plants. And I love that there's a bright color in the background. So what I'll do when I fussy cut these is leave a little border because there's color behind it. and a phone cutting those cutting the dice and I like call an old friend so I'll use those as well I could use <clears throat> cut that out too but I'm not sure if I well shoot I might as well just take that too okay moving on love the rain boots take those Maybe I'll even put those in my Valentine journal. And then here's some of that honey again. I loved using that. It's on the other side. Okay, so let's grab that for the honey. Don't forget to look at words and stuff. Here's sweet tooth. I don't know if I want that or not. Ooh, I like the popcorn. Take the popcorn. You could use these greens for collage in your backgrounds. Definitely cutting out that apple and probably the little apple down here. Um, I don't know if I want this, but this you could use this to collage. All right, let's cut this out. All right. You could cut out Jolly Green here. Like the blueberries. Kind of feel like I should do a blue page. I did I could add that let's see here do I want any of these I do not you could cut out these things maybe I'll take the foot you got towels Little things like this, like this little yogurt parfait, little chocolate milk, little thing. Those are great for twinchies and inchies. Um, this is about schizophrenia, but those faces are cool. So I think I'll take those. Okay. Not seeing anything that I want there. Again, this is just my first time through. I'll go through it again another time. Just looking for things um, that I want to use right away. Oh my gosh. Cheesy jalapeno pretzel bites. Get in my freaking belly. Those look good. Okay. Let's see. Sometimes I like to use, um, a food as a background, which is why I like the food network magazine so much because there's 
color. And once you put something over the top, you don't really see it as much. You know what I mean? Like this. If you put a picture over the front, it's not going to look like a casserole. Um, I got a little pepper here I could use. Mm, let's see. Got some little egg sandwiches and stuff. That's cute. Chocolate heart shows you how to make it. Got a big drink right here. That would be kind of cute. And you could have somebody like coming out of it or something. So I'm going to take this for the heart. Okay. And I'm not seeing much more that I want so far. This would be cute for a background. Put a, you know, little person over the top of it or something. I like the word comfort, so I might take that. We got blue images here. I might cut out the spoon with the cereal. Let's see here if I can flatten that out so I can get the whole page. There we go. Lemonade, I'm gonna take that. And I'm going to take the cookies. And probably the milk, and I could make a whole page using these. Is there anything on the back that I want? No. Here's another little heart. I've used these kids several times. They're cute. And I like, how do you think superheroes get their superpowers? That's cute, too. Okay. This would be a cute background. Love that. What's on the other side? <laughs> Bye, Felicia. That's a game. That's cute. I like this. I think that would be a cute background. Got spilled coffee. Could use that. OMG, that's happening. You know I always take the animals. Oh my god, this dog. So cute. Do I want to cut out the dog too? The dog's kind of like, it's kind of fuzzy. It's not a great picture. Okay, so those are all the things that I cut out from my book. Now I'm going to go cut them up and come back and show you everything I got out of that magazine just for my first time through. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So let's start looking at everything that I cut up. So these are everything that's in a square format. Um, could be subject to change down the road. I have this. It's light pink and it's a little book. I could also fussy cut that out later if I wanted to. This I'm going to use for my heart uh, junk journal, my Valentine junk journal. And I'll probably kind of go around these just a little bit. Um, but I just waited to do that and, and until the moment. And then this is also going to be for Valentine's Day for my junk journal. And this one as well. And then I have this square piece. And then this was, um, this is a paint chip and it was kind of hanging off the page. So I'll hang mine off the page too. So I have that. I took that out because that's my favorite color. And then here's the plants that I talked about that I was gonna cut out. Now, I might individually cut these out and leave some of the yellow, but I might just leave it a square. And then I have this square piece. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I have some popcorn and some blueberries, the comic book superhero looking guys, and then these kids that are little superheroes eating popcorn. So those are all my square images. So I'll put those in my box that I keep square things in. I also have these two that are rectangles that I'll use for backgrounds in this glue book that I use. So I'd put this in the back and then, you know, or like this one. I keep them big just so I can cut off the edges, you know, and then put like a pig right there or something. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> so yeah, I think I might, um, I might actually do that. So anyways, these are two for backgrounds. And then I have, let me put that away. I have these three that I would use for background collage. And what I mean by that is I would tear the pink part out of this and tear the blue part and tear the water part here and then collage those pieces on a page. So I'm not ripping those yet, but I would if I was going to 
do that. Okay, so here's my Valentine stuff. I'm just gonna kind of keep a pile over here. I have this little piece that could be for like a twinchy. It's a little takeout box. I like things that have a block of color behind it. The only reason why I didn't fussy cut this is because the other side is cute too. And I just thought I'd leave it to the day that I'm creating. I can pick which side I want. So I have that. Now let's go over our fussy cut items. I have the little Geico Gecko and I left pink around the edges. Anytime there's a color behind an object, I always leave a little bit of the color because it gives it a pop on the page. And then I cut out two eyeballs, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. And then here's another set of eyeballs because you can use them on things like this. Like say you have these kids, right? And you just kind of want to be funny. You can add those across the face like that. So I have those. And then I cut out this glass because it's my favorite color. And this little um, teardrop. So I thought it'd be kind of funny if I had one coming off her eye. And then this little couple from the yogurt that I will keep over here with my Valentine's. And then I have this pen and paper. There was a pink border, so I left a little pink border on that. Here's that lemon that I talked about cutting out. So I've got that. And then there was a calendar page and it had the numbers 28 on them. Well, there's hot pink behind them. So I cut out these two numbers because those are fun just to use in your collage. And then I have the dice. Now I will cut these apart when it's time, but I just left that little piece connected for now, just so they stay together when I use them. And then I have the telephone. Again, this had pink behind it, so I left some of that pink. So I'll use that. And then obviously this is cut off, so I would use this kind of on the edge of a page. I have the red rain boots, and I kind of was thinking about putting these in my pile for my Valentine glue book, but I'm not sure yet, so I'll leave that there. And then I have the honey. I always cut these out, I love them. And then I have that apple. And then I have the mini apple. And because this apple was so small, I, I cut off the leaf and just left it the apple part without the stem. And then I have these blue towels, which I thought would be really fun for like a blue page. So I saw a lot of blue things in this magazine. So I cut those out. And then here's half the heart from It's a Chocolate Cake. So I'll put that in my Valentine section. And then I cut up this Special K ad, so I had that. And then the cereal and the spoon because I love pops of color like that. And then I have this thing of milk, it's pouring. So this would obviously go on the edge and bottom of a page. And then I cut out the little farmhouse cookies that were kind of sitting like this on the bottom of that. And then here's the cookies. Here's that other little chocolate heart. I'll put that in my Valentine pile. And I ended up cutting out that game that says bye Felicia, cause I just think that's hilarious. So I cut that out. Then I have this little dog and cat and I have that big old dog. So those are all my fussy cuts that I got. And then here are all the words that I cut out. There's way more. I just, these are what I cut out for today. So I have heart and I'll put that in my Valentine section. And then this said, cause this went with this advertisement, it said, love your heart. So I just cut the R off and now it says, love you. And so I'm gonna put that with my Valentine glue book junk journal. This was an actual book and this was the cover of the book. So there was words up here and words down here. And I just cut that off and left this cause I think that's cute, the book of, of moods. And then I cut uplifting, we're better together with a heart. I'm gonna put that in my Valentine. Why settle, that might actually go good with my Valentine. And then this one says, your true love sparkles forever. So I'm gonna put that with my Valentines and another one, romance by the spoonful, put that over there. And then here's pleasures and simple. I just like the colors, so cut those out. And then the word chic. And then this says, these aren't your mother's cookies. They just taste like it. So obviously I'll use that on the cookie page. And then I have call an old friend, mood boosting, 
paint your own art, do what's delicious. What's this one say? Honey. Um, there's no taste like home. Buy a plant. Good. Motivate yourself. How'd you think superheroes got their powers? And lasting memories. So this is all of the stuff that I got out of that one magazine my first time around. So look at all of these. This is all the Valentines. Keep that over there. Plus all of these, right? And these, those over here. And some other backgrounds that I haven't shared. So that's quite a bit of stuff out of one magazine for my first time through. So definitely go through your magazines. Try and look at things a little bit different like this where, you know, maybe you didn't want to. I was just going to cut out love, but then it said your and I cut off the R. Now it's love you. So you can cut things up to make them how you want it. Like this was a book and it had the author, the name of the book and the author and all that. And I just cut out the image that was on the front of the book. So definitely get creative with it. Don't be afraid to find images that are bigger like this that would make great backgrounds for things. Um, yeah, you can do it like, let's see here. This one would be cute. Like what if I just put this cow right here? Like see how the colors, it just pops. You know, or I could put it a little higher. Like how cute is that? In fact, I might do that. So those are just some ideas on how to harvest and all the images that you can get out of them. Um, if I went back through this magazine again, I would find even more. So these are just my favorites for my first glance through. I hope this video was helpful in some way and you really enjoyed seeing how I harvest a magazine. And let's have an awesome creative week. I am so ready to create and I hope you are too. Have a fabulous day and until next time, bye.